What's up guys, we're back here. We're gonna be starting a new series today where we introduce patterns. A lot of people have been asking for pattern tutorials, so this is a really good way to practice sounds that you don't enjoy just practicing with the metronome, right? Cause it's the most efficient way, but it's not entirely the most fun way as a lot of people might think. It can be fun to just, you know, walk around to a metronome. So it's like, but people learn in different styles, right? So in this pattern, you know, we're gonna be practicing three different moves, right? T, which is gonna be hi-hat, the B, bass kick, and IS, which is an inward snare. It's a pretty simple pattern, guys. You know, they're pretty basic techniques, but again, you know, it's it's good. It's practice, it's repetition. Also, it's in a 4-4 four, four time signature, right? So this pattern takes up the four beats for the entire measure, right? So we're gonna start off with it going really slow, guys. We're gonna go get out your metronome, you know. I preach it all the time, you know. We're gonna start off at 60 BPM, right? So whether it's your online one, a physical one, it doesn't matter, just, you know, here's the metronome. We're gonna start off at 60, right? Now you guys. Great job, that's awesome. So you know, there's four beats here, right? So it's like And that's like, this is the first two beats, right? So it's four, four, that's the first two beats. So it's like tip, bu, 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 tip, tip. So it's like one and two and bu, bu. Take up the third and fourth beat pretty much. You know, the two hi-hats here, all like, on like that two and, but it's the, it's the and three. It's like, it's a fine little line there. Now we're gonna move up to 80, right? We're gonna keep practicing it like this, guys. You know, this is how you get faster efficiently. 80. Now you guys, okay? Six, seven, and. Awesome, guys. So one more way that we can do something with this beat, right, is we can we can hum behind it, right? If this is really easy for you guys, then let's incorporate humming into it as well. It'll reduce a little bit of the crispness within each of them, but as you practice more, you know you'll gain that crispness back, right? So so it's like so let's speed it up and add a little bit to it, right? Where you could go and do another thing, right? We did a little build up there and then we brought it back to this pattern with the humming behind it, right? So you can do a lot of different things with this pattern, with any pattern, and then come back to it, right? There's gonna be a bunch of other patterns that we go over, guys. Um, this is the first one that we're gonna be learning. I hope that it was easy for you. Thanks, guys.